If you want more visitors to proceed to check out and pull out their credit cards, offering discounts is one very effective method to achieve that. I mean, who doesn't like a good 10 or 20% discount, right? Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can set rules in your WooCommerce store. Like for instance, buy two, get one free. Buy a smartphone and get a font case for free. Buy a laptop and get the headset for 50% off. Or maybe buy 10 units of a certain product and get 30% discount. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, very good. So for this project, we're going to use YE pricing. So as you can see, this is a WooCommerce plugin that will allow you to implement dynamic pricing and discount. And this is the most important part. As you can see, it will allow you to design a powerful marketing strategy for your WooCommerce store. So this is basically the aim of this plugin is to allow you to generate more sales, obviously. So the cost of this plugin is only $49 on a yearly basis. And you also have a one-time payment and this is $195. So that's really up to you, you know. Uh, if it's yearly, you renew every year for $49 or you can have the one-off payment. So either way is absolutely fine. And then you can have this for multiple sites and unlimited sites as well. So again, this is really up to you to decide which option is the best. So after you've purchased this, I'll meet you then in the WordPress dashboard. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So once you've installed the plugin, you will see here under the WooCommerce tab, you have YE pricing. And this is basically where you're gonna set everything up. So if I click on this, now you will see this is basically their own dashboard with all the different features. And this is where you can set your rules basically, okay? Now let's have a quick look at our website in the front end. So this is a demo site with all sorts of products. So I'm gonna show you how you can set rules for all these different products, okay? So let's go back here to our rules. Okay, so first example, let's say you are going to offer 20% discount of the complete order if a customer buys at least five items, okay? So how do you do so? Well, first, add your first rule, click on this, and then right here you have a few predefined campaigns that you can use. For instance, buy three, get one free, buy X, get X, maybe buy X and get Y, or maybe Black Friday sales or something like this, you know? So in our case, what we're going to do is just our own campaign. So we're gonna click on this. So we need to give it a name. So let's say, for instance, uh, get 20% off your entire order if the minimum order quantity reaches five, okay? So what type of rule is this? Well, it's going to be a simple adjustment in our case, but as you can see, you have bulk pricing, BOGO, so buy one, get one, and then buy X, get Y, okay? So in our case here, so it's going to be a percentage discount. The value is 20%, we said, okay? And now we need to assign this to our product. So to which product would it apply, okay? So add one. And here we have product in list, and then you can select basically which products, okay? Or maybe not in list, whichever way, you know? And you can also select all products, product in stock, product price, product tag, product category, and product variation. So in our case, we're gonna apply this to all the products, okay, just like this. And now we need to set a condition. So we go to condition because we said we need at least five items in the shopping cart, okay? So how can you set this up? We add a new condition. And right here, we're going to select one of those options. In our case, the cart quantity should be greater than and four, basically, because we said at least five. So this should be at least four, greater than four, sorry. Okay, and now we can save this and now we can put this to the test. So let's go to the front end. So we have our website here. So let's buy one of those items, maybe one of those gadgets here. So let's go with this phone. And we're going to add four in the shopping cart for now. Okay, so just four. So let's have a look at our shopping cart. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And as you can see, we have four units at $9.99. So this is the full price, basically. Now, if I add an extra one, okay, five units. So we said at least five. As you can see, now we have a discounted price of $8.79.20. So the 20% discount were applied in this case. Now, based on our rule, we don't have to add five of the same product. It's just to show you here. Now, if I, if I remove one unit here, we can go back to our shop here and add one of those televisions, for instance, okay, which is a totally different product. Add to cart. So let's go back to our shopping cart and let's refresh. And there you go. As you can see, the discount has been applied to both of these products. Now, let me show you another interesting feature that they have. And this is the one I want to show you here. Show tooltip on cart item price. So tick this. And as you can see, it will display a small message if you hop on top with a small question mark. And basically the message is you're getting this discount, discount value and off, okay? Now you can tweak this around, you can put whatever message you want, obviously, you know, but just make sure you keep this variable here. So you have a variable list here you can look at, you know, discount value, discount amount and discount price, and you can use them invariably here 
uh, within your message okay and then click save and now let's go back to our cart and let's refresh and let me show you the change here as you can see here we have the info bubble so if you hover on top you get the message so you're getting this discount 20 percent off or whatever message you want to display obviously you know and this again is going to help with the conversion rate and help them to proceed to checkout okay so our next rule is going to be a card discount rule so let's say you want to offer 10 percent discount to your customers with their first order okay so for this you go to card discount and add your first rule and again, as you can see, you can create your own campaign or use existing ones. So in our case, we're going to create our own campaign. Now, bear in mind that for this feature to work, your customers have to be logged in first. OK, so if you open your customers tabs here, it will look something like this. You know, you can see who's logged in or not. So as you can see at the moment, I'm logged in as John Doe. So for this, I've used a different browser. I've, I've used Firefox, basically. As you can see, I'm logged in as John Doe using Firefox. And here in the Chrome tab, we can actually see everything that's happening and we can set the rule now. OK, so if you go back here, now we can set our rules. So let's give it a name, maybe 10 percent of your first order. What type of discount? This is a percentage and then 10 percent we said. OK, and now we can set our conditions. So let's create a condition here. And this time, instead of cart items and all that, we're going to select customer. So you have customer order count. This is the one that we need is less than one because they haven't ordered anything yet okay so in the back end basically you will see here that they haven't placed any orders at all it's set to zero at the moment okay so this is what we're working off and now we can basically save okay very good and i'm going to open the firefox tab so there you go as you can see i'm logged in as john doe from firefox so let's buy something together so let's go to audio and video and let's add this one here maybe to the shopping cart okay so we're gonna buy this television so just one unit add to cart okay let's go to our shopping cart and there you go as you can see i got 162 dollars and 90 cent of discount a 10 percent discount of your first order so this is definitely working now let me show you how you can set a product pricing rule based on minimum spend so let's set up our rule so we're back here now so add your first rule click on this so it's our own campaign so let's give it a name so let's say maybe save 20 percent when you spend one thousand dollars on audio video okay so what is this type of rule well it's a simple adjustment this time okay and we're going to offer a percentage discount of 20 percent like we said and the maximum value should be left as is okay so infinite so now we need to add our product so let's select our own product so we can delete this all together okay so this will be a product from a specific category there it is in list and we're going to select the category so we said it was audio and video there you go there it is okay and now we need to add our conditions so let's click on this so add a new condition and this one is going to be slightly different you have to scroll down to the bottom this one is going to be a combined condition okay so let's click on this and as you can see we'll show different items now so item products item subtotal and so on and now you can select different things okay so first we want to make sure that the item category as you can see contains and we're going to remove air conditioner and again it's audio video okay there it is and now we want the subtotal price greater than and we said 1000 okay and that's basically it so let's save and let's put this to the test so we go to the audio video section and as you can see have a few items here so this one is 1000 600 6, 629 and 749 so these don't qualify obviously it's not up to a thousand so what are we going to do i'm just going to add one of them here okay let's add this one here add to cart and as you can see there are no discounts applied now if i go to audio and video again and let's add another one here for 629 and this way we will reach more than a thousand okay add to cart and there it is as you can see now our, our discounts have been applied so you can clearly see that those two are discounted because they're part of the audio video section and the total is over a thousand now let's add another product maybe a, a fridge or something like this okay and let's find out so this one is 849 we're just going to add this we're going to go to our shopping cart so add to cart and as you can see this product here is not discounted even though we are way over the thousand dollars and the reason is because this one is not part of the audio video section so as you can see this is a very nice solution to help you increase your conversion rate by offering all sorts of discounts now if you want to find out how you can add product options in woocommerce i'll leave this video right here mm -hmm.